Good morning everyone. Happy Friday. I hope you all have had a wonderful week. It's time for another devotional. I'm going to be reading today from Romans chapter 12 starting at verse 3 and Becky actually read some of these verses at the end of the service on Sunday so you may uh, recognize and be familiar with them. Uh, so Romans chapter 12 starting at verse 3. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. So um, I finished school uh, or the semester um, about three weeks ago now. So I worked just part time at the church. So uh, I've been having my afternoons uh, free and something that I've really just enjoyed doing is finding ways to be an encouragement to someone. So uh, in this devotional, I have a challenge for you all for the next coming weeks. And I like a fun challenge. At least I think it's a fun challenge. It's not like a try to do 50 push ups challenge. Um, um, which though I guess some people enjoy that I do not um, but it's finding some way to be an encouragement to those in our church and outside of our church our neighbors our family our friends um, and it's a creative challenge because uh, in this time it's hard like sometimes for me being an encouragement to others is going and spending time with them uh, as quality time is my number one love language and a lot of my friends it's their number one love language as well but of course we can't do that right now so it's finding unique and creative ways just to love on others and just treat them more highly than yourself just like this verse says and also like the verse says um, that we all have different gifts we're not all the same but it says the gifts that you have use them so for example um, Shannon who I'm sure a lot of you know is really great at editing videos and for my birthday this past week she sent me a big compilation of videos that she's taken of me over the past like two years and it encouraged me and made me smile and laugh so much and so that was something that she was able to do though to her it seemed like a small thing for me it was really big and it really made my birthday special this year and so that was something she was able to use a gift that she's been given by God to encourage me and so what is something that you can be doing uh, in your free time if you have any um, to be encouraging others I know I've been talking to lots of people who um, maybe have been laid off or don't have a job um, and maybe are living by themselves or uh, they just have lots of free time and they don't really know what to do with it because they don't have a goal or something that they need to accomplish in this time and it's really easy to just sleep in every day, stay up late, watch lots of TV. I'm so guilty of that. Uh, so I find what's been helping me is to set um, goals and kind of a job for myself and that job is finding fun ways to encourage others so if you're musical record singing a song and send it to someone I am not musical and during this time more than ever I wish that I could play an instrument because there's so many songs that I've been like it would be so fun to sing this and send it to someone so if you're able to do that um, if you're artistic making cards drawing photos uh, emailing them to people mailing them to people um, snail mail is still a thing that we can do and I know people love receiving stuff in the mail it's so fun um, if it's words of encouragement calling people FaceTiming people I know we as the young adults have been kind of challenged to call people we wouldn't normally call and I know lots of people are terrified of talking on the phone I am one of them it is super uncomfortable for me so calling people who are outside of my comfort zone that I wouldn't normally call and again I've been on the receiving side of that I've received calls from friends that I've like never really talked to on the phone before and they're just like hi I'm just 
here to talk and I'm like that's so amazing that's so nice and it just makes you feel special and that people have been thinking about you specifically that day and I think in our brains we sometimes think uh, it's something so small and insignificant like it's not really gonna be that big of a deal but think about how you feel when people do things for you now go do that for other people because you can be the reason that someone has a great day um, or is just filled with joy and happiness um, that day so that's my challenge just coming from uh, this passage and it's interesting because the heading before verse 9 in my Bible says love in action and I've been reading uh, this book it's called Love Does by Bob Goff I highly highly recommend it um, it's just an amazing book and it's talking about exactly what the title says love does it's an action love isn't a feeling it's not something that we keep inside it needs to be something that we show in action towards other people um and it's just been a great book to give practical ways for me to love people during this time and i bought this not knowing that covid was going to happen and that i was going to read it during this time but it's just been a great way to give me ideas on how to love people um and just to put that into practice and into action so i hope that that uh is a fun challenge for you guys and you don't think that it's a challenge similar to trying to do 50 push-ups um and i hope that it's something that you can put into practice in the coming weeks as we don't know when this is going to end and i know that it's we're just getting into like week six seven i don't even know anymore and the novelty of this is wearing off and the oh yeah i have free time is also wearing off so sometimes you just need a new thing to do and so i hope that uh you can go uh forth and do this um to our church family and people outside of the church family as well your neighbors and family and friends um and uh yeah, so I just really hope that uh, this has been an encouragement and a challenge to you for the coming uh, weeks. And I look forward to hearing, hopefully, about how it goes. Uh, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye.